Welcome! This video will show you how to add a link to a Blackboard Collaborate recording to your course to allow students to easily access it. I'm logged into Blackboard. I'm actually going to be going into an organization where I already have a recording. The steps are the exact same whether you're in a Blackboard course or an organization. If you ran a Blackboard Collaborate session and decided to record it, when the recording is complete, you would go to either Organization Tools or Course Tools under the Control Panel and click on Blackboard Collaborate. Essentially, you're going back to the same place where you created the session to get to the recording. And you'll see I have two tabs here, Sessions and Previously Recorded. I'm going to click on Previously Recorded, and I have one session come up, Blackboard Collaborate Training. I'm going to click on the double arrow to get the menu, and I'm going to select Add Content Item to add this to a place in this course. For right now, I'm going to put it in the Blackboard Collaborate Content area, so if I select that option and then click the right arrow and then I can also give this a description. And I'm going to go down, I want to uncheck the date restrictions because I want this link to be available to my students now and I don't want to put any restriction on there as to when it would be removed. I'm just going to hit Submit. And then there's not a confirmation message. So I'm going to go into Blackboard Collaborate just to make sure that it did indeed link the link where I was hoping. And it did. Right here, the second option, Blackboard Collaborate Training. With the description, this is the recording of the Blackboard Collaborate training session from Friday, January 27th. That's what I just added. And I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Mode to Off so I can just show what it would look like. If one of your users wants to view this recording, they click on the link. It takes a minute. It's going to launch Blackboard Collaborate very similar to if you were joining a live session. Only it's not going to ask you for your name or, or take you into a live room. It's going to show you the recorded session, which looks exactly like the session did on that day. It does take a minute to bring everything in. It would automatically start playing it. I paused it by clicking on the pause button right next to this menu which lets you jump through to different areas. You can see that it has not yet made all of the time stamped items available because it's still working to download and you can see this kind of light red bar moving across the bottom. It's downloading the video. And I just want to point out that in this recording I chose the option to hide participants names in the recording. And so instead of seeing someone's name, you're actually just seeing the very generic participant one, participant two. And that's how you add a link to a recording.